very good diagram. So, what I'd like to do real quick is just show you guys to simplify this uh, trig um, this trigonometric expression. So just remember, guys, if you're kind of getting stuck with your problem, right? You're like, uh, what am I? What am I supposed to be doing next? How do I multiply and all this kind of stuff? So what you're gonna want to do is just remember to switch to sine and cosine. Okay? So if I can keep my cosine, it's already in my cosine terms, all right? Then what I'll do is I'll transform tangent to sine over cosine. So I'll be cosine of v, which is not equals, times sine of v over cosine of v. Why did I change tangent? Well, because remember, tangent represents sine over cosine of v, right? Um, and the reason why I do this is because when you change things to sine over cosine, what you can do is now cross out my cosines, leaving me with sine of v over one. Third this time. Got it? So therefore, it's just going to be sine of v. I did. Oh. I, I actually did the cotangent. <laughs> you, look really funny just, you look really funny just holding it. <laughs> 